How did that break? I think we need new clothes for us. Today we're outside Euromaki. We're gonna buy ourselves a new clothes horse and also find the most random item possible. Okay, so we're gonna have a competition. Who can find the most random item? Okay. Ready? Okay, let's Three, go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, option number one's gotta be these guys. Look at his face. God. Well, I mean, what would you even use this for? This looks like Harry's haircut back in year six. This is a coat hanger. We've got a whole selection of broken coat hangers. We've got some fake glass for the balcony. I've been trying to push this through for about a year now. I think that would feel great on my feet in the morning. My Mickey Mouse mask is looking pretty strong at this point. This is the most random object. Okay, so I've got option number two. Okay, it's this mirror. I mean, if you want a mirror to look at, like that is just pointless. If you want a mirror, get a mirror. That is like, I, can, I, I can't even fit my face in it. Dog light. This is uh, debatable, isn't it? Okay, I found something. So I'm not entirely sure what this is. To me, it looks like a light bulb, but with grass in it. Now, I don't know what use that's gonna have, but um, pretty random. 87th birthday? It says 78. Oh yeah. <laughs> that dog look, he looks like he's on something. He looks parched, doesn't he? What does parched mean? Like really thirsty. Yeah. Or hungry. One of them's famished, one of them's parched. I can't remember which one's famished where. Famished is hungry. Famished no, is much. hungry, parched is thirsty. God, we must look really stupid, mustn't we? We are. This is bad. It's made in a box. It's <laughs> debatably <laughs> one of the most it's random things. There. It's up there. A beef for paint. That's got to be up there. It's got to be up there. Too useful, these things. Too sensible. Do you think if you had to do another coronavirus quarantine in the Chinese, you could last six months? I think so, yeah. The thing is, I don't think they do food. So that would be, that would be the, uh, the floor do, to I the do, plan. I think they do dog food. You can survive six months of dog food. Have you ever eaten dog food? Uh, yeah, no doubt there is food in here. It's, it looks quite tasty, to be fair. When we say this shop has everything, we mean it. Like, how many selections of broomstick candles do you need? Seriously. They've got every colour. They've got millipede. Millipede? No, it was called ladybird. <laughs> God, we really are stupid, aren't we? That's what we want. How much is that? We don't know how much that is. I think we're going to have to go with the, uh, the cock clothes horse. Yeah. Bit weird, but uh, we'll take the label off. Yeah. I think I'm gonna to struggle to find a more useless thing than a light bulb with grass in it. But this is not useless actually, this is the complete opposite. Um, quite aggressive, but um, it's a tennis racket that's electrified. And I think the idea is that you kill mosquitoes with it. Um, so that's actually quite useful to be fair. Although I did watch in the news the other day that someone burnt their house down trying to use one of these things. But um, of course that was in America. It's always America. Okay, so it's true that it's quite difficult to find useless items in here. More difficult than I thought. Because I thought it'd be easy, yeah. It's a compliment to the shop, if anything. Oh, hang on, I found one. <laughs> what is that? That is definitely Christmas Christ. Oh my God, Christmas just fell out of its ass. I think I won. <sighs> I don't know, mate. I've got some pretty useless stuff. Grass and a light bulb, come on, that is. That's gonna take some beating. What's your best? What's your what's your best product you're putting forward for the most useless thing? I mean, the baby on the box is a bit outrageous, but I guess it could find some use. Like, it I could don't know be. Who'd want the baby on the box? It could be a box for baby's toys. Yeah, but then the baby doesn't want to see a baby in the box. It's a bit weird. It's a different baby. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's a not different that baby. Him. It's just another. But baby. I think that baby's box could be used for baby's toys. I can't think of any use for a light bulb with grass in it. Yeah, but. There's, if you want something and you think there's no way Corelleo is going to have it, don't give up because here they have yeah. almost everything you could dream of. Yeah, literally. Let's go get our clothes sauce. <laughs> nice one, guys. Make sure you leave a comment in the box below and let us know who found the most outrageous object. And maybe when you come to Fort Ventura, you can try and find a more outrageous object. Yeah, if you find something more outrageous, let us know as well. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, we've come to Masconada uh, for a coffee and uh, also to get a homemade bugger. This is. Amazing. And if you, I don't know what type of bugger you like, but I like the chassis bugger. Chassis buggers are great. Tasty. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.